Hey y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making you all some tomato soup from scratch. And I'll be making my special grilled cheese sandwich with it and I'll explain it to you as I do it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna start, I'm gonna introduce you to my tomato juice. That's, uh, and I got two cans of uh, crushed tomatoes and one can of um, whole tomato, they have 28 ounces. Okay, I have, uh, I'm gonna be using pickles for this dill pickles for my uh, ha uh, for my sandwich. And I have now here's my vegetables. I have uh, garlic, fresh garlic. I have shallot. I have uh, celery, and I have yellow onion. Now make sure all of your vegetables chop really fine. See how this garlic is chopped like I almost missed. Chop it as fine as you can because you don't unless you want to make chunky tomato soup. If not, if you want to make just regular uh, uh, tomato soup, don't chop your vegetables small. i also be using some uh, uh, paprika. I'll be using uh, Parmesan cheese. It's fresh. i also be using pepper jack. And this is heavy uh, whipping cream. And then here's some butter. And this is my uh, basil, fresh basil and fresh oregano. And here's my sugar, you have to have sugar. And here's my uh, chicken broth. I, if I need it, I'll put a little chicken broth. And these are all the things that I'll be needing. I need, I need. And now I'll get in, as I do them, I introduce them to you. Uh, this is a very simple uh, uh, soup that you can make. It don't take very much, I mean, no overpower. What I use, I told you all these vegetables. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and uh, put some butter in here and uh, let the butter melt so I can put my, uh, out of these vegetables, I'll be putting my uh, garlic in last. I'm going to put the other ones in at the same time, but my garlic will be in last. And I'm going to let this get hot, and I'm going to um, let the butter melt, and then I'm going to put my vegetables in there. Like I said, this is, I love tomato soup. I love it. I always got buy me a can of it, and I, when I go when I go shopping, I always try to get me a can of it because it is so good. And when you're making it from scratch, I know it even better. I'm gonna let these put these in here so they can melt these onions and get back put a little onions in there. Like I said, see, I uh, I got them chopped very fine. You don't want to eat them with soup. You don't want to bite into tomato soup. You don't want to bite into no vegetables. But they got the taste just to season it real good. So I'm gonna let this cook. And then once these start cooking, then I'm gonna introduce my garlic, fresh garlic in here. Let this cook. And when you're cooking this, you need, I, I could have let my butter, I don't do things that I know don't, I don't, I didn't have to let it uh, melt. It can melt with the vegetable. But anyway, when you're, um, when you're cooking uh, soup, make sure you get you a Dutch oven or you get you a, a stainless steel heavy pot. And it's a heavy pot. I do most of my cooking in here. You need a good pot. I'm going to put a little bit more butter in here. That's a little bit more. And then once this start cooking, I'm going to get back with you. Okay, my, um, cut the stove down some. My vegetables have cooked good enough. Now I'm adding my uh, garlic in. Let that season these vegetables up. Like I said, some people put oil, but don't try. If you can get away with oil, just use the butter. Because I don't like that to be too much grease in there for me. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to let this cook. Once these uh, cook a little bit, I'm going to add my, I'm going to start putting in my, uh, uh, my uh, uh, tomatoes. Okay. All my vegetables cooked, um, cooked the, like I wanted to cook. I added my garlic last. Now I'm getting ready to put my crushed tomatoes. I got two cans in there. Two cans of crushed tomatoes. Put that in there. So these vegetables, see, you can't even see them, but they did season good. I'm going to put this in there. Yeah, I'm going to make me a big pot. Here's in my other can. I told you two cans of that tomato. This one look thick. And so I'm also going to use, now I'm over here crushing, I'm cutting the stove back, I'm letting this cook, I'm crushing my tomatoes. I told you I was going to use crushed tomatoes too, I'm crushing them. And if it get too thick, like I say, I might have to change pot because I'm going to make a big pot of this right here. 
If it gets too thick, you can add broth in it. If it's too loose, and you can add more. You can. Some people uh, take and put the flour in the water and thicken it up. I hope I don't have to do that. I don't mess with it as long as you do it in the beginning. Or uh, some people cook. I heard they put rice in it to thicken it up. Any way you want to do it. Now I'm gonna add these tomatoes. I think I got them crushed good enough. I'm gonna put these in here. I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna put these in. Not all. I'm gonna save some of them. I might not need all of them. And the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get the liquid like you want to. Like I said, I cook. I just, and I'm glad I don't even see my vegetables. And that's good. I'm gonna put some uh, chicken broth in it. And also a little chicken broth. Follow these directions. That'll be good. I can see. And I'm gonna add. Uh, I got my chicken broth in there. I got my some tomatoes on the side. If they get to begin to look like a. Uh, uh, Tomato uh, juice. You got to add a little. I know I'm gonna have to add a little more uh, broth, or uh, I can rinse my cans out and add a little water. It's up to you what you want to add. You don't have to use broth. You don't have to use, but broth seems seems to season it good. I'm gonna put a little salt, just a little salt, cause I know the broth is seasoned. My salt gonna be the last thing I'm gonna worry about. I'm gonna put a little pepper, black pepper. I like that spice. <laughs> I love uh, that this cook is not hot yet, but I'm gonna let it cook. It begin to kind of look like soup. And like I said, it's thick. And once, and I got, uh, I'm gonna put a little, in mine, I always put a little of cayenne pepper. I normally use uh, just a little bit to get a kick. I don't put too much in it. And at last, but not least, I'm gonna put these, uh, look at paprika in there. A little paprika. And you know, when you're using tomatoes, if you cut that acid down, you have to use a sugar. And it's up to you how much how you want to taste. You're going to add it in the beginning, and you're going to add it in the end. So put this sugar in there, just that. I don't know how much I need, but I just I put a, a tablespoon in there. And let this cook. I'll probably add some tomato juice in here. Once it gets thick, I'm going to add my other ingredients. And I'm going to get back with you in probably about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm getting ready to taste this and see what it needs. I taste it uh, off camera, and it's pretty good. I added a little more sugar. Let's see what I need now. Mmm, it is so good. I can taste all the vegetable that I chopped up. I don't think I'm going to see. I'm going to taste it one more time. Mm -mm. I don't think I need anything, but it sure is good. Mm. I'm going to take and put a little, this basil in here, just a little bit. You're going to probably see it, and then I'm going to let it cook for about another 20 minutes with this basil in here. I want to put just a little bit in there, because that um, spaghetti, I mean the sauce I had, that basil sauce with it. I'm going to put a little of this cream, this heavy cream. I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. Just a little bit in here to thicken it up. I don't think it needs, it, it changed the color. That's what the cream do, turns it from, make it that orangey uh, color. This is what you call chunky homemade vegetable, I mean tomato soup, it's very good. Put a little bit more of this cream in here so it can turn that color. And I'm gonna put a little cheese in here, my little, uh, I might have to unthicken it. Some people like, I like mine thick. So I'm going to put a little of this cheese in here. I got some uh, fresh uh, Parmesan cheese grated. Now I'm going to open it up. Let me get something to open it with. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little of this cheese in here now, just a little bit. This is so good. Put a little bit in here. That's all I need. I don't need too much because it's so good. Let me stir this up a little bit. Oh, that's chunky vegetable soup. Not so thin. Let this cook for a while to the uh, the cheese and the uh, cream and the that basil. Uh, cook in here and I'm gonna get back with y'all 
Yeah, here is the finishing touch of my uh, tomato soup, and it's so good. I taste it. I don't need nothing in it. I like the consistent, how, you know, the thickness of it. I like everything. And you can taste some vegetables that I put in there. So what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm getting ready to make my grill, my famous grilled cheese sandwich. I this bacon. So I had some bacon, but I hope it look okay. I'm going to try it anyway. But what I'll be using, I'll be using, uh, this is butter bread. Butter bread and uh, butter white bread. And and here's, I'm using some pepper jack cheese. I always use pepper jack cheese on all of my, uh, on all of my sam uh, grilled cheese sandwich. I don't like, I like the cheddar, but I like the taste of pepper jack. And I'll be using some sliced tomatoes. And some pickles, hamburger pickles, or dill pickles, whatever you call them. And I might put a little of this bacon on here. You know, like I said, this was leftover bacon. It's not the best, but bacon will make it taste good. Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm getting ready to butter my bread. Put some butter on my bread. And if I can get all four of these in here, oh, they make two sandwiches. I will. If not, that's a lot that of skillet I have. I can use a, a griddle, but I don't really like wasting. I have one. I don't never. I'm old-fashioned. By the time I take that out and wash it once I get through using it, I can use a skillet. Cook smart. Okay, now I'm going to take all of this. And I'm going to take this and turn it over. And turn this one over. I'm going to try to get two in here. I, I can. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the stove down some because I don't want to fry. Is put the cheese in here. My pap I have two slices of pepper jack. And I'm going to put a tomato over here. Tomato. And this is so good. Yeah. I don't have the tomatoes too thick. I'm going to put some pickles. There's some pickles in here. And this is my grilled cheese for my uh, for my uh, my uh, tomato soup. And I'm gonna take and do this side. I did this side. I'm gonna put this here over here like that. And I'm gonna let it uh, brown. And I'm gonna get back with you all. I'm sorry. I got. I said I'm gonna try this bacon. <laughs> I'm talking so fast. I'm gonna put some of this bacon. Like I said, it's not the best bacon, but it's still gonna give it that taste. That bacon taste. I forgot about that. So I'm going to pull this one. Let's get through brown and I'm going to get back with you and serve it. Put my soup on a bowl. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in to my tomato uh, video, my presentation. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, share it with friends and family. And make sure, if you like this video, tune in to the next one that's coming up. Here is it in the pot, my tomato soup. It is so good. It's kind of chunky, but it's really good. And here is on the plate. I put a little uh, Parmesan cheese and a little basil on it. And here's a, a grilled cheese with it. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed it. And... Have a great day.